Hey guys, New Guys Outdoors here. So I've recently picked up a, per se, unhealthy obsession with very loud and potentially dangerous devices that might have actually destroyed my hearing quite a bit recently. However, that doesn't take away the fact that this obsession is really eating up a lot of time. And money. So before this turns into a rant, let me introduce you to a rifle that I've very quickly grown fond of. This is my AR-10. Diamondback DB10 chambered in 308 Winchester. So I'm gonna get this out of the way first. There's nothing really special on it. Yeah, it's got some Magpul furniture like the stock and the pistol grip, but the rail on it is literally the stock Diamondback 15 inch key mod rail. Got a mil spec trigger, stock bolt carrier group. That charging handle, I honestly can't say I'm a big fan of it. Oh yeah, the barrel. It's an 18 inch fluted stainless steel barrel with a sweet brake on it. But I still haven't been able to figure out if it's a stock barrel or not, so I'll let you guys figure that one out. The scope on it also isn't really anything special, it's just a True Glow MS9 3 to 9 by To be honest, I don't think I'm gonna be changing the scope off anytime soon because it just works. So, like, the thought process behind that is why change something that works? Oops, forgot to mention this. So for this group, I ended up shooting some uh, less than stellar looking Federal Premium Gold Medal Match Ammo that was launching a 175 grain sear match game bullet at targets that were 100 yards out. This was just to see if I could get a general good grouping out of it. Be warned though, the gun was definitely shooting better than the guy who was pulling the trigger. Now I'll openly admit that I'm not the best shooter out there because my groups, <laughs> by all means they weren't the best. So the first group, if you're discounting the cold bore shot, was a one and a half inch group, but if you want to include it, it was 2.4 inches. And then the second group, Ugh. Honestly, I'm disappointed in it myself, so I can hear all you guys groaning at the 3 inch group. Horrible, I know. But maybe this is just a sign for me to get a sandbag or something. So I guess I'll just stay quiet for the rest of the video and uh, hope you guys enjoy this really sweet footage of me shooting this thing out to 500 yards. Yeah, I'm using some cleaner looking ammo this time so hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching